Despite Greece being one of the oldest and most influential wine countries in the world, it only showed its new face in the 80s with the development of the first modern wineries, and it hasn't stopped evolving since. Greek winemakers are focusing on showcasing this rich wine history through the reemergence of many indigenous grapes, also there is a rediscovery of old vines, and finally we need to highlight the continuous trend of innovation by discovering new terroirs. So we will talk about these new trends and we will start with the most distinctive feature of Greek wine, which is the diversity of indigenous grape varieties. We need to know that Greece has uh, approximately 220 indigenous grapes recorded and there are many more still waiting to be discovered. The major advantage of these varieties is their adaptability to the local climate and soil conditions over centuries or even over millennia resulting in wines that are authentic, original, with a very strong fingerprint. The big success story is of course Asiltico with a, a strong international recognition but I'm confident that more varieties are waiting to be discovered and expanded further like Xinomavro, Agiorgitico, Twensient, Lignon, varieties like uh, Muhtaro, rare varieties like Lignona and also Kidonica, Viviano, Robola. Believe me that the list is endless about indigenous varieties. Another characteristic of Greek wine is the renewed appreciation of old vines. So this is something, a recent message that Greek wine wants to transmit to the markets abroad. And it is important to, to highlight that due to various historical and geographical factors, Greece has managed to preserve many vineyards that are more than 50 or even 100 years old. And in fact, more than 50% of the Greek vineyard is more than 30 years old, a value higher than most European Union countries. So Greek wine producers have embraced these sites, these varieties from old vines, which uh, you know they, they have been adapted very well for the climate change as late ripening varieties. The third most distinctive trend in Greek wine scene is the exploration of new terroirs. This happens for two reasons. One reason is to, to combat climate change. So we have, we have seen people uh, moving higher in elevation, like in Crete or Northern Greece in Macedonia, trying to find cooler locations and also taking advantage of the message that the Greek islands can transmit to the markets. So we have witnessed uh, new places with uh, wine production like Naxos or even new wineries established in places like Nisiros. Finally, experimentation in the cellar by using traditional uh, pitharia or various sizes of other vessels like amphora, not only in Crete but everywhere, is something to be noted. The high complexity of terroir and varieties may be what makes Greek wine so special and challenging to outside eyes. However, it encompasses the passion of our winemakers for individuality of Greek wines.